Good evening, Court TV News at 7. I am Tolu Ojewumi. We begin with the update. There was palpable tension across the 30 local government areas of Ocean State as the people decide who leads them beyond 2014. The incumbent Governor Ralph Aragoshala, alongside 19 other contenders, tested uh, their popularity in the Ocean State Governorship poll. Earlier in the day, immediately after casting his vote, the governor told journalists in his Alicia country home that if the process is smooth as experienced in his ward, then INEC will have done an acceptable job. However, he expressed deep concerns over reports that his supporters were being harassed at polling stations by security agents. In the meantime, the All Progressive Congress has raised the alarm over the mass arrest and intimidation of its members in Osho over the state's governorship election. The party says over 250 of its members were arrested in the state. The party, in a statement issued in Oshobo by its publicity, the Secretary Lai Mohammed says it is constrained to alert Nigerians and the international community that what is going on in Osho was not an election but a coup against democracy. APC says the magnitude of arrests, uh, the viciousness of the operation and the widespread intimidation of its members have confirmed the party's fears which were expressed in several press statements ahead of the election. The party added that President Goodluck Jonathan, in an unparalleled desecration of national institutions, has simply turned the men and women in uniform against the people as the entire security outfits now owe their allegiance to him rather than the nation. Meanwhile, the former governor of Oshun State, Isaac Adeleke, who is in the All Progressive Congress APC, has alleged intimidation from the opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Adeleke, who spoke after his accreditation in Ede on Saturday, described the electoral process as peaceful, but decried the incident uh, leading up to the event. As some police officers, SSS men and soldiers, according to him, came to his mother's house where he stayed till around 1 a.m. on election day, banging the gate. He added that he saw one of those that came, a PDP member, pointing at the house, but they were repelled by his security forces. He alleged that the state attorney general and the commissioner for agriculture uh, were arrested and the battle for the soul of Ede is expected to be keenly fought between Adeleke and the PDP deputy governorship candidate Rafi Belo, who is also from the town. Nigeria's military authorities say any attempt to impersonate soldiers on election duty in Ocean State will be detected. This is in reaction to claims that fake soldiers may be used to truncate the electoral wishes of the people. The military say uh, via its Twitter account uh, that troops posted to the state have special tags that cannot be duplicated. It added that soldiers have been directed to deal with any case of suspicious dressing or impersonation of troops in Ocean State. Political observers have pulled encomiums on annex organized conduct of the governorship election in Ocean State. They express confidence in the ability of the electoral body to conduct credible elections in the future, especially the 2015 general polls. Omotayalo has more. The results of the 2007 general election prompted the Nigerian government to set up an electoral review commission, which gave birth to the current independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Since coming on board, the commission has continued to adopt different strategies to nip electoral manipulations in the bud. Although controversies and legal actions trail some of the elections conducted recently, Many believe INEC has the ability to conduct credible elections. Speaking on free and fair election, lecturer at the Political Science Department of the University of Lagos, Kayade Ishwala, says INEC has a pedigree of being fair in the conduct of elections. From the inception of the Jega INEC to now, it's been better by the day. Don't forget, democracy is a culture. It don't evolve culture one day. It has to build over the days, over the years. So, in summary, from what has been displayed so far in the character and composition of INEC, I think we have hope that we have a good body that can conduct election anytime, anywhere. As Ocean citizens exercise the civic responsibility of voting a governor, 
Political experts Fred Agbaje and Kaya Deishuala explain that politicians eat up the polity by their actions and statements, thus calling for the presence of heavy security during elections. If the politicians that created that venue, if the, if the campaign had been going on smoothly, without brick pack, without, without threat to life and property, the federal government would not have woken up from slumber. The same federal government that can attack Boko Haram begin to deploy all the troops in Nigeria to Oshu, as if the Oshu people are, are that lawless. The Oshu people are enlightened people. Yeah, the politicians that have created this, um, this, 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 pro this problem, this setback. We need a very strong civil society because the civil society is supposed to set agenda for the citizens of a country. You know, the civil society must be very strong and proactive. We need such civil society that will not wait until crisis occur before they start educating people and mobilizing for them for it. As we have it now, we don't have civil society in Nigeria. What we have can be best described as a group of people who are trying to use the name civil society to achieve selfish political Anxiety fills the air as the incumbent governor of Oshun State, Ralph Arabeshala, and 19 other candidates go to the polls to test their popularity. The hope is that wherever the pendulum swings, the people of Oshun should continue to reap the dividends of democracy. On what are you alone? Call TV News, Lagos. Now, the Air Coast Commission has, in collaboration with the re relevant health authorities, disinfected its Lagos liaison office as part of precautionary measures to stem the spread of the deadly Ebola virus. The Commission said in a statement that a team was dispatched to work with health officials to carry out the fumigation on Thursday. Air Coast Commission took that step in the aftermath of the contact that the late Patrick Sawyer made with protocol officers from its Lagos office. It has also set up a task force to respond to concerns that the staff might have and to also update them on measures at preventing and tackling the deadly virus. Authorities in Nigeria's megacity Lagos appealed for volunteers to help fight an outbreak of the deadly Ebola virus after admitting the lacked medical personnel. Lagos, home to about 20 million people, has recorded nine confirmed cases of Ebola, including two deaths. In its fight against the spread of the virus, the Lagos State Government is offering incentives such as life insurance to medical volunteers. The nation's doctors suspended their work to rule action on Thursday, but it was unclear whether they had resumed work across the country. Negotiations have, however, been speaking on the development. I leave Meduguri because of Boko Haram. I come Lagos. But now they say it's better you're dead in Boko Haram than the Ebola because the sickness is very bad. Yesterday, when I hear about uh, he killed someone in VI and uh, Muriokola. Even I'm very shocked. Now I'm not shaking with even my friends. Even they bring hand to shake, I'm not shaking with them. I'm scared of the sickness for Ebola virus. I think they are doing enough. The only thing we are praying to uh, President of uh, United States to help us to bring the solution for the for the uh, virus, like to bring the drugs that can make everybody to use to for the disease for the Ebola virus. We beg God the president so that may they find solution to do for us for the problem we have so that may they find the, the sickness so that people cannot die any any uh, whether just make people know they die sha, so that may everybody they may know the scale even to shake them this problem. Technology is still there back. But also America they go far. Maybe when I have some the medicine of the sickness when I feel help us. So we will pray, make good, good luck, Jonathan, take action about the sickness because we will be poor, we will be poor people. But then they can try their own action anyhow. Minister of Health Onye Chuku has urged Nigerians to take personal hygiene very seriously and adhere to preventive instructions at preventing the deadly Ebola virus. The minister gave this advice during his visit to the isolation center built for Ebola patients in Lagos. Determined to curb the deadly Ebola virus, the federal government has embarked on a massive campaign to sensitize the people now to prevent the spread of the virus. The government also in collaborating with state governments across the federation in ensuring that all have a means of detecting and treating the scourge. The Lagos state governor, Babatandi Fashala, visited the nearly beauty Ebola isolation center in company of the Minister of Health, Oinyebuchi Chuku. The minister called on the public to take personal hygiene routine seriously. You have fever. Go to a proper 
doctor, go to a facility, they will take your history. If you have had contact with anybody who has been confirmed in Ebola, then you must submit yourself to us. So I will place you under surveillance. It's for your own good, it's for the good of your family, for the good of your friends, your colleagues at work, your customers in your business. As the Ebola scourge continues to ravage countries in West Africa, it is hoped that the Nigerian government's efforts in preventing the spread of the disease yield dividends. Yabu Babata, the financial law, has urged the student of the Lagos State University to embrace peace and seek amicable resolution to all challenges facing the institution. He made the call when student union leaders in the university paid him a thank you visit for the reversal of the skyrocketing school fees. Again, a multi law has the details. For a decision that came as a miracle, the students of the Lagos State University could not hide your profound gratitude on what the governor did to ease their burden of having to pay a school fees that many of them cannot afford. After composing a series of songs of praise for the governor, the students say they are indeed grateful and thank the governor for his compassionate consideration. In response, Fashila urged the students to always take to peaceful dialogue rather than destruction of government properties whenever there is an issue to iron out. My appeal to you is to choose always a part of dialogue and resolution and negotiation. Even the nations that used to go to war at the slightest provocation are seeing that war is expensive. The governor also advised the students to obey constituted authorities and do well to make the best of the academic year. You don't have to like all your lecturers, but you have to work with them. You have to listen to them. You have to express your disagreement politely. And they have a, an obligation also to listen to them. As the students of LASU get settled for a fresh start in school with a reduced fee, it is the hope of the university body that the session would run smoothly without any interruption. Omotayo Alo, Core TV News, Lagos. From Lagos, we quickly visit Nasara State, where the Almajari School in Lafia is now occupied by people displayed by recent clashes in Wukari, Taraba State. This has forced the street kids back on the street in search of survival. They, however, end up with nothing most of the time. Pass on our report on the Almajaris of Lafia. These children are in Lafia all the way from some communities in Katsina State. They have traveled thousands of kilometers, supposedly in search of knowledge. But they are on the streets, hanging around restaurants to pick the leftovers of customers' meals. Looking so sick, this nine-year-old boy says he has not eaten for hours. He says his parents brought him from Katsina, but he hasn't seen them in the last four months. The only thing he knows is the Quranic education, and that is why his parents brought him to Lafia. What are we hoping? I have spent four months in Almajori school. My parents brought me here to study. I was not brought here to study Western education. We get food sometime when we go out and we reserve some with our teachers. In spite of fending for themselves, they are still clearly kids. With toy guns in their hands, they play cops and robbers. But on Thursdays and Fridays, these boys leave the local Almajuri school to go in search for food and money. Most times, they get little or nothing to fall back on. When we go out, we get money. We kept some and used some. If anyone is sick among us, we use the money to get drugs. We don't go out every day. We go to our teacher's farm and help him to work. We don't attend the school built by the government because we were brought here to attend the local Almajri school. The locals here are not happy with the Almajri situation. They say Boko Haram elements could easily take advantage of the boys. The issue of Almajri, when we are talking about Almajri in Islam, Islam does not encourage Almajri at all. Islam uh, has, uh, Al has no place in Islam. Islam encourages every person to wake up, work hard, earn your living. You don't, it is not ideal for you to get, get back to children and you scatter them in the street with the name of begging. You know, Islam does not encourage that. We are not encouraging the Al-Majiri group. This is, a, this, is, this is the sources of 
Boko Haram, Haram initiate. We are not welcoming al -Majiri. It's not an Islamic culture. It's not an Islamic foundation. Anybody promoting al -Majiri sector is not an Islamic sector. Oh, al -Majiri, it is something of al -Majiri. You know, leaving those children walking about is not in the best interest of Islamic. Because moving around will cause so many problems. You know, people have started to use them. That is what is causing the problem. You know, they are one of the key suspects in this uh, Boko Haram something. People say they are using al and they are condemning al -Majri. Why? Because people use them. Only recently, the federal government established a school for al in several states, including Nasarawa. This is the school, but it is now home to internally displaced persons from Taraba State. So, for now, these children will continue to be on the streets until something is done by the relevant authorities. These children have to go out every day in search of their daily bread. For this nine-year-old, he has not eaten anything since morning. As you can see, his plate is totally empty. And for him, the future doesn't really hold much. Pio Samuel, Court TV News, Lafia. Hmm. We'll take a break and return with more stories. Don't get away. This is Together, we are the spirits of Lagos. Continent, 54 countries, over 2,000 languages, but united with similar interests. As news breaks, we give you in-depth analysis around Africa every Monday on Core TV News. Thanks for serving us. Uh, back to the Arab Bishon story. There was palpable tension across the 30 local government areas of Russian state, even as the people decide who leads them beyond 2014. The incumbent governor, Raul Farag Bushal, alongside 19 other candidates, tested his popularity in the Ocean to governorship poll. Earlier in the day, immediately after casting his vote, the governor told journalists in his Elisha country home that if the process is smooth as experienced in his ward, then INEC will have done an acceptable job. However, he expressed deep concerns over reports that his supporters were being harassed at polling stations by security agents. Yes, my experience here in this particular precinct, voting precinct, is wonderful. You have a large pool of security men who are here, and one will say they control themselves very, very well. And you have enthusiastic electorate who have who demonstrated passion and interest in democracy. But the question to ask is, is what we witness here going to be replicated statewide? Is a huge question that only Hinek and the security operatives can answer. My wish is that even at the aspect of just voting, we can have the orderliness that we have witnessed there, round the state from now till the end of it. So we are hearing that some people are planning to see terrorize voters towards the end of this exercise. I pray that our security agencies will live up to their business. They have not demonstrated enough impartiality anyway to date. After all, only the leading members and supporters of my party have been at the receiving end of the molestation, harassment, and terrorization. Or terrorism, or terrorism, and terrorism. No reason, there is no reason 
I'm sure the authorities in Abuja are just simply abusing their power. And that power is not established in our constitution. As a matter of fact, if there's anyone that can order security operatives around in this state, I am the chief security officer. What we are seeing here, either in terms of deployment and abuse of security agencies, are flagrant violation of the Nigerian constitution. That's been the news at 7 Jenners tonight at 9.45 for our primetime news. Thanks for watching. I'm Tolu Ojewumi. Good evening.